Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend, Principal of the CTO Advisor. I'm going to try and do something that HP wasn't able to do clearly during HPE Discover, which is to describe HPE Greenleaf. What is it? And why weren't they able to do what I'm attempting to do? It's because they've always been a little bit ahead of their messaging from the time when they first introduced GreenLake as a financing mechanism to GreenLake private cloud to this past HPE Discover when they announced GreenLake private cloud, everyone kind of said, well, isn't it what it always been? Let's break it down. So about five years ago, HPE announced GreenLake, the finance vehicle, the pay-as-you-go. This wasn't anything really revolutionary at the time. They, they did make a big deal of it, but it was simply being able to finance HPE gear, let's say 80% capacity when you first receive the gear, and you had commitments to say that we'll ramp up usage of or capability of this equipment over the next three to five years. It was a way to lease the uh, equipment based on capacity. Then Antonio Neri, the CEO of HPE, announced GreenLake would power the everything as a service within the HPE portfolio. And this is where things started to change about three years ago. Basically, everything that HPE does can be delivered as in a pay-as-you-go model or pay-by-the-drink similar to public cloud. So you're taking all your IT operations, all the capabilities of your IT operations and adding a as a service model powered by software and APIs. This is the important thing. This is where GreenLake starts to become a real thing for operating in a hybrid cloud model. But we don't get all of the services at that point. Uh, at this point, we can use the underlay for GreenLake Lighthouse. This is basically t-shirt sized infrastructure for running specific types of applications. SAP HANA or SAP, uh, VDI, and other similar application focused steps, step, steps. Now you may ask Keith, well how is this different from managed services? There is some overlap. Uh, you can definitely get HPE to manage all of your SAP infrastructure, or you can get them to manage just the underlay, which includes Lighthouse. So think about Lighthouse as HPE giving you a prescribed set of nimble arrays, number of servers, VMware software, everything you need to run SAP up to the licensing in this Lighthouse architecture then you consume it via API in theory. This is where, you know, the practice versus theory. You can go in and uh, use either their APIs or their portal to provision the services. Did customers practically do this or did they just work with the sales team and work with a solutions team to implement it? I don't have that detail, but I suspect there was not a lot of button clicking to get to that. So that's what we've had, you know, circa from 2019 to 2022, early 2022. If HBE talked about GreenLake, it was basically their everything is a service. I could take storage from MinIO, services from Equinix, HBE hardware, and that will all be written on HBE paper, and I could consume it as I would in a ops model with the public, with the public cloud. So HPE, under the GreenLake brand and the GreenLake portal and the GreenLake delivery, everything as a service model, announced their GreenLake Enterprise private cloud. So how is the enterprise 
private cloud any different than GreenLake or GreenLake everything is a service or GreenLake Lighthouse? Well, this is cloud as we expected. Think of AWS circa 2020, I mean 2012, 2013, offering VMs, containers, block storage as a service, and they already offer that in GreenLake everything as a service. But think about having a portal with a consistent set of APIs that you can front end Kubernetes with and you make a request to Kubernetes and that would just run on a private cloud within your infrastructure. And, and, and to be honest, a lot of the man reaction from the audience at, uh, re, uh, I mean, at Discover was, I thought we did that with light with everything as a service running on a lighthouse. You could get there in a roundabout way, but enterprise private cloud is kind of the promise of GreenLake from a couple of years ago. So it, it is very understandable that folks were kind of like, eh, man, all in all, great thing. This is a potentially awesome solution to have private cloud in your data center, develop something that you can give to developers. HPE will have a trial where you can, like any other public cloud, go and kick the tires, understand what it is, what it is, and the types of applications you can build and where the gap and services are at. So when HPE says that they have 70 cloud services, that's everything above this line. The 70 cloud services is something like, okay, I can get a, uh, HPE delivered VDI. I can get HPE delivered SAP. I can get uh, HPE GreenLake delivered VMs. All of that as a service, but not in that traditional cloud um, model that we all expect in the enterprise, or we are public cloud users. We got that this year. I hope this was helpful. If it's still confusing to you, DM me on Twitter at the CTO advisor or at CTO advisor on Twitter. If you think I missed something, you probably work for HPE and you probably think I missed something. Again, DMs are open at CTO advisor. Talk to you next CTO dose.